Oh, there goes all the coolant that I forgot about. Awesome. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm gonna be pulling the engine out of my 66 Mustang. I'm gonna be getting the car painted and I got some of the work that I'm doing, so I wanna get this out of the way. You'll notice that the car is taken apart quite a bit. You don't need to go this far to remove your engine. I'm gonna try to do it without moving the hood, so we'll find out part of the way through the video if I can do that. Uh, but I got a bunch of stuff we gotta get taken apart. You're also gonna, it's easier if you take your transmission off, whether you got a manual or automatic transmission, it's just easier because if you don't, you have to tilt the engine quite a bit, drop the transmission down and pull it out this way. The last time I took the engine out of my car, I did it that way, it was more work. I recommend just taking the transmission off, which I did that in a previous video. So if you guys need to do that, you can check that out. For the first thing we wanna do, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start draining the oil and the transmission fluid out of here. And then we're gonna go ahead and start taking off the subframe, or the, sorry, the Monte Carlo bar and the export brace so I can get in here and start getting stuff out. First thing we'll do is we'll get this radiator drained. And while we let that continue to drain, I can go ahead and start taking off like the Monte Carlo bar and the export brace. Now I've got an advantage here because I've got my fenders off, it's really easy to get to the bolts and stuff underneath here to get to that. So I'm gonna take advantage of that downtime and get that done. Well, that's still draining. Hey. Next thing I'm gonna work on is getting this radiator out of the way so I can pull the engine out. I'm gonna pull it forward, then up. So I gotta, Cut the wiring off. I, I got a zip tie it along the bottom of the fans. I got to get that out of the way, get it unplugged from the fans. I got to take the catch can off and unplug the radiator from the fire or the core support and then undo the hoses on the top and the bottom here. That should free everything up and we can get this radiator out of there. Next we'll go after the throttle linkage, we'll get the air cleaner off and the carburetor off, and we'll put that plate on there for lifting up the engine from the intake manifold. So we only have a couple things left. There's a ground on the front down here I gotta get out. There's a ground on the back that I gotta get off there. I gotta disconnect the starter, at least the power wires. The starter can stay in the bell housing for now. The bell housing is on the back of the motor because I just took the transmission off the back of the bell housing. And then <laughs> I'm gonna loosen the motor mounts, hook up the, the hoist, but the, the headers have to come off. Uh, the way these headers are designed, I, I couldn't lift the engine up and then out They'll still catch on stuff, so unfortunately I'm gonna take the headers off and, uh, and then we can get the motor out of here. Sorry, engine out of here. All right guys, so I got all the boring wires taken off. I got the ground, the back of the alternator, the starter's disconnected, and the ground back there. And I went ahead and took the headers off. This is something that it's just, it probably took me a half an hour just to get all 16 of the bolts out. It just, you just work out it one at a time and then you're in there with just barely turning the wrench or with your fingertips, whatever you can get. I found I had to take out the, the number five and six spark plug just to help get the header out on the, on the driver's side. Uh, it's just, 
it's boring and I didn't think you guys wanted to watch that. I might have said a couple of choice words, so maybe that would have been good entertainment, but anyways. Okay, so now we have left is to just take the four bolts, there's two on the bottom and two on the bottom of that side of the motor mount, engine mount, depending on what you guys call it. I'm not gonna take the pin out or the big bolt here that allows it to, to, to come out from the car right there. I'm gonna leave those in there and just, it's the two underneath that go up inside the block. I'm gonna pull those two. So the block is still sitting on those, uh, those uh, engine mounts, motor mounts. Then we can hook it up. I need to lower the car uh, down so that the hoist can go high enough to pull the engine out. So get those, those four bolts out from underneath, drop the car, then we can pick it up. Hey, real quick while we're here, pro tip. This is just a piece of cardboard that, you know, from a TV box that, you know, what was this one? This was a sand or a high sense or something. Anyways, I just use these just to lay on and stuff. Not that, you know, we're gonna get dirty, stuff like that, but these things you can slide around and it's just easy just to lay on this stuff. And the concrete is really cold. It's cold right now. My fingertips are freezing. That's another thing that makes it difficult when we're pulling those headers off is your fingertips just don't wanna work. So anyways, let's get those uh, four bolts out. Then we can lift the engine out. Now we're gonna see if my gamble to not pull the hood is gonna pay off. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I should shorten this chain. Might do it. There goes all the coolant that I forgot about. Awesome. <laughs> oh, um, oh shoot, I broke that. I lost the ground wire. That was a casualty of war, but um, if that's the worst of it. Okay guys, how not to remove your engine. I think a lot of you guys are probably watching this going, oh, Andy's gonna screw that up. Um, okay, take the bell housing off. Um, it would have been easier. Uh, if you take the oil filter out, if you drain the oil and all that kind of stuff, naturally that'd be easier. Um, there's a lot of coolant still in the engine. Forgot all about that. Now it's on the floor and I've got a mess. That's awesome. But it's out of the car and ultimately that's the important part. Um, I didn't break anything except for that ground wire, which we could chalk it up to even just a poor crimping job almost. Um, but uh, <laughs> all right, let me get this thing on the engine stand. And uh, yeah, let me do that real quick. <laughs> All right guys, there we go. Now we got it on the stand. I can set this thing aside and continue to do the stuff I'm working on in this car. This, if you guys are still here, it's probably out of pity just to see how much I can struggle and mess up. You know, I was trying to take a couple shortcuts and getting this out to save on removing a couple things. I was able to do it, but again, it just shows that trying to take a shortcut doesn't always work, so. Um, if you guys are going to be doing this stuff, taking that bell housing off, I said, like I said, that's going to be the way to go. 
I was able to get it without taking the hood off, but I might have scratched, if this had been painted, I might have scratched it. So maybe I could take a little more care with that, but I think it can be done without pulling the hood. Um, the export brace got in the way a couple times, but again, I was able to get through. Um, and then all that dumb coolant. Gosh, I told, that's just, I, I, the funny thing is I had that problem when I pulled the motor engine uh, last time, before I got this one built, and it just, you'd think I would learn from that, so. I guess I'm going to chalk it up to just not learning from my, from my mistakes. But alright, so I'm going to set this aside. I've got some more stuff to do. Guys, if you, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Helps my channel out. We'll see you in the next one.